In my previous videos on sleep, I talked about how poor sleep leads to a number of physiological, psychological, and neurological problems. I also talked about the importance of getting bright light exposure in the mornings to set your circadian rhythm for the day and also to improve your mood, cognition, and performance. In this video, I'm going to talk about the second half of the circadian rhythm equation. This is light exposure in the evenings. I'm Dr. Chris Friesen from Friesen Performance, where I help you achieve your greatest potential by optimizing your psychology, physiology, and neurology. We need not only bright light in the mornings, we also need darkness in the evenings. This is how we are designed. Modern technology offers us lots of benefits, but there's a lot of pitfalls when it comes to our physiology. You've probably heard of melatonin. It's often sold in stores as a sleep aid. When it's released by our pineal gland, which is at the base of our brain, we tend to feel drowsy and tired. It's through our eyes that darkness signals to us that it's time for sleep. But what happens is, when our brain sees bright light, primarily blue wavelength light, our brain stops our pineal gland from releasing melatonin. This system worked very well before the Industrial Revolution and the advent of lights, when the only light exposure we had at night was from natural phenomena like the moon or stars or fire. Even gas or oil lamps had almost no effect on our melatonin release. All of these emit low levels of blue wavelength light. So our brains are very sensitive to blue light specifically, but also to bright light. Many of the modern technologies give off lots of blue light. The lights in our homes or televisions. Exposure to these sources of blue light tells our brain it's still daytime and therefore not to release melatonin. It's not that just exposure to bright light makes us feel more alert. Exposure to these lights, especially blue light, signals to our brain to shift the circadian rhythm. The brain uses darkness as a cue to determine when to start a neurochemical cascade that is necessary for us to get proper sleep. This neurochemical cascade includes the buildup of adenosine, which I'm gonna to touch on later, increased melatonin, and a decrease in our stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. Research has found that exposure to even regular room lights leads to a suppression of melatonin in 99% of people. In one study, it resulted in a shortened melatonin duration by 90 minutes, and also a 71% reduction in melatonin secretion. Other research has found that exposure to house lights for 90 minutes, such as a fluorescent light bulb, resulted in a 43-minute shift in our circadian rhythm. Exposure to halogen lights led to a 59-minute shift. So what's the solution to this? Well, besides not exposing your eyes to any light and only using candlelight at night, there are some other solutions. One is to use some sort of filter on your devices. One free program that I often recommend is called F.Lux, or Flux. What it is is a computer program that reduces the amount of blue light emitted by your desktop or laptop. Recall that using a MacBook Pro for about an hour and a half in the evenings can cause a 50 minute shift in our circadian rhythm. But if you put on F-Lux, this shift drops to only six minutes. But there's still the problem of your house lights, or if you go to the bathroom or open the fridge or turn on your lights. Filters on your screens are great, but they only block the light coming off your screens. We already know what happens with our house lights on. It can result in up to an hour shift in our circadian rhythms. About eight years ago, I found out that researchers discovered a simple hack to this problem. They were looking at the problems of shift work. At that time, they knew that blue light was the main culprit when it comes to shifting our circadian rhythms. So they started using amber colored glasses to filter out the blue light. So I found a company that makes safety glasses for industries such as medicine and the military. This company is called Uvex, U-V-E-X. I like this company because they have to meet high standards when working with industry. One of their products is called the Uvex S1933X, which were specifically designed to filter out 98% of blue wavelength light. These are the Uvex 1933s. I've been using them for about eight years. What you're gonna notice is that they wrap around the eyes. 
there are a number of new companies that are now selling blue blocking glasses. One of the problems is though, they don't wrap around your eyes. I wanna emphasize this is not a product endorsement. This is just something that I've been using. The great thing is you can now buy them on Amazon and they cost as little as $20 each. After I started using these, I was blown away by the results. I found that my energy levels increased, my moods improved, but more importantly, when I put them on two to three hours before going to bed, I felt tired. And I tended to sleep more soundly. Not surprisingly, I've been using them ever since. There are now numerous blue blocking glasses on the market. Some of these are very expensive. There's a trend for these glasses to look like sunglasses, like Ray-Bans, for example. Because the UVX glasses are safety glasses, they wrap around your eyes, so they prevent light from coming in on the sides. They aren't the sexiest things in the world, but if you don't mind your significant other calling you Bono every time you put them on, you'll be fine. So look for blue blocking glasses that wrap around. There's actually research that's been done with these specific glasses. So going back to our original example of using a MacBook Pro for about 90 minutes before bed, this results in a 50 minute, so five zero minute delay in our circadian rhythm. The research found that if you wear these glasses while using the MacBook Pro, the circadian shift dropped to only one minute. The added benefit of using blue blocking glasses is if you get up from your computer and turn on your lights, your eyes are protected from the blue light. Remember, house lights can cause a 43 to 59 minute shift in your circadian rhythm. But if you're wearing these specific glasses, research finds the shift drops to only two or three minutes. So if you want to take your sleep to the next level, consider wearing blue blocking glasses two to three hours before you want to go to bed. This will maximize your body's natural ability to produce melatonin. If you do this consistently, you'll likely find an improvement in your mood, energy levels, and your ability to fall asleep. So are you ready to take control of your circadian rhythm? So get out there and take control of your sleep before it controls you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share with friends or family if you think they'd benefit as well. If you wanna get alerted to upcoming videos, hit the bell icon to subscribe. So until next time, keep moving forward.